Hello. I'm a bit knackered. I'm extremely exhausted, in fact. But I've just been for a swim. It was so awesome. It's so unbelievably awesome. Look at my skin. And then I got some shampoo and conditioner and facial wash. And I just had a shower. And the shower is even better than the pool. It is awesomely diddly. Awesomely diddly shower. So good. And now I'm just feeling the stress relax. I'll show you my new surroundings. This is the bed. That's me. My underwear. And look where we are. Recognise this place? We're on the ground floor. I can hear every argument that Happy New Hotel has with each other. So there we go. Oh, I was hoping actually to get a bigger room because I can hardly swing a cat in here. But anyway, it's going to be a good sleep tonight. I'm just hoping she's not in that kitchen making me a big meal because my belly's big enough, as you're well aware. Anyway, catch you later. Take it easy. Well, folks, granted it's uh, half a past 11 at night and the season really hasn't started yet but you could say Hisarano is fairly dead at this point I think in a couple of weeks time it'll pick up which suits me anyway I'm not looking for the high life or am I? <laughs> the hangover bar why would you want to go somewhere to get your hangover before you've actually got drunk? that's the question maybe you go there when you've got a hangover I don't know the thinking behind that one. Sunset restaurant, that's good. You go there at sunset and have a nice meal, watch the sunset. Bar Friday, you only go there on a Friday. We have a beer as cold as your ex-girlfriend's heart. It's funny the first time I've seen it, but it's a bit done to death now. So anyway, that's the scene from Hisarani. Just thought I'd let you can. I'm back in tune. Cheers to the room. Here we are. Back in Legends Park with Sedge and his wife. They have a new look to it. Lovely cocktails up there. And a new barman. And they have a DJ box. I never worked with a DJ box last year. It's pretty cool. And I'm daddy cool, I should know. Here we are, happy New Hotel, or even happy in the rain. I've left my towels out over there, the towels are a bit wet. So there we go, and here's my breakfast, I'm trying to have a light breakfast. I'm trying to lose weight, but it's not happening. I'll probably have to do some exercise as well as eat a little bit less. I've stopped eating bread for the past two days, that's an achievement. But anyway, good night in, as they say, it's a lovely day with Scottish weather at Happy Noor Hotel. I'm in Hair and Beauty with my friend I met last year, Hisaranu. Decided it was time to get a shave and I need a new face mask as well and a little trim in the old hair. Hisaranu. We are now at stage two. Got the golden, uh, what do you call that stuff? Enamel. We used to put on stuff. Yeah. Basically, I'm turning it into a bronze statue. And I'm going for a slick back, long haired ponytail look. What do you think? Pretty good? Pretty good. So, I'm just at the barber or the hairdresser, the hair and beauty salon. It was going good, the guy cut my hair quite nicely, then the apprentice came on. And he, his job was to cut my side bits. Okay, done no bad. And then he thought, oh, dry the boy's hair. Okay, he's drying my hair. And then he started straightening it. <laughs> and then the main hairdresser came in and he was showing everybody how to straighten it. And my hair at this point was like, poof, it looked like one of those 
dolls you get, you know, with the big hair, big straight hair. The hair bear bunch type thing. And then I eventually explained to them, you know, I'm just letting the apprentice have his fun, really. I was going to go and have a swim, which I'm going to do now anyway, and then my hair would be, would be back to curly. But I wasn't actually... I, was, I should have just let them finish it and walked down the street to show you it better. The straight-haired version of me. Let's just say, thank God for curls, because boy do I not suit straight hair. In fact, the woman I was talking to, she came across and said, Did you just want them to leave your curls, aye? I was like, aye. She said, yeah, it looks a bit. I said, aye, it does, doesn't it? It does look a bit. <laughs> so anyway, over here's the go-karting. If you wonder what that noise is. The go-karting in Uli Dennis. I've never actually done it here. But I do like a bit of go-karting. Maybe I'll try it sometime. Cheers to now. I'm now going to go for a wee dip. It's a hard life. We've had some rain in Fetier today. I say Feti, I mean Hisaranu, which is in Feti. So it's a little bit overcast, but it's smelling quite nice. You know that smell you get in the garden after it's been raining? That's what I can smell right now. So I've just been to see my friends Amanda and Aidan at Get Up and Go Travel. That was a nice chat to them, after my haircut. Which you can tell I've had cut, obviously, yeah? Yeah, I'm looking good, I know, I know. Now back along the street, to Happy Noor. Happy days. So now I'm walking to get my eyeglasses. Basically, in Turkey you have to go to the hospital and get an official hospital report. You have to pay 125 lira for that and then take it to an optician, he makes the glasses. So the guy at the hotel has got a friend who's an optician and he told him I make videos. So I went, I gave the thing today, I chose the frames. He's making the glasses today. We're going to do a deal. I make him a video. I'm just looking at my spots here, they're still pretty bad, aren't they? I might need another five or six face masks. But I think I'm de-stressing a bit. But I'll feel a lot better once I'm in Didham actually doing the comedy and getting on with things and, you know, it's all the unknown just now. So that's why I'm stressed. And I've not actually started rehearsing, which is why I, what I came here to do in the first place. Too busy beautifying myself. I <laughs> sorted my eyeglasses out that I've been supposed to have been doing for about the past two years at least. My mother's on to me every day, you sorted those eyeglasses out yet? You sorted the eyeglasses out? No. But I've eventually got onto it and it's worked out well. I'm going to make a video and it's going to not cost me 300 lira. Result. Here's Hisaran. It is, of course, Saturday night and it's Champions League night. So we're going to watch the Champions League final just shortly. Can you feel the excitement in the air? Hisaranu holding up to the big celebration tonight, hopefully. This is my optician here, Gauze Optician. Gauze means I. Gauze Optic. Here we go. Well, 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 folks. I got new glasses for reading. Only took me about at least two years of needing new glasses. And I've got them, and guess what? It's a miracle! I can actually read! It just is so awesomely diddly. I panicked when I put them on because the world was blurry, far away. But as you bring it closer, it's like crystal clarity. I'll be able to work in front of a computer and be able to totally and easily, incredibly see again! Instead of straining my eyes, I recommend it thoroughly for those old gits like myself who are going blind and refuse to acknowledge that. Glasses are the way to go. Cheers to now. Bye bye.
I watch the boxing in my house, it's on streaming and it freezes all the time. Now I've seen to have picked the only bar in Hisarani where this is starting to freeze. Yeah? Lucky white header. That's me. See? It's frozen. Just like being in my house in front of the fucking first row sports you watching boxing matches at freeze all the time. Lucky white header, that's me. Curse of the devil, farts in my face. One more time. Take my head to another bar, I think. Had a change of scenery, another bar, standing up, semi close there, watching on this TV. Even though the guy before told me that one was a minute and a half ahead of this one, it turns out, because of the stop in there, it's vice versa. So this is now ahead of the game. I hear the commentary, but they've got some cheesy music on, so. That's not too bad. Just left from the cast there. Oh, no, no, no.